we are still solving the WASI 2024 elective mathematics paper written by student from Nigeria. This is question number 11. Before we begin, please kindly share this video for me. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing. The matrices of the linear transformation P and Q are given by P1323 and Q2, negative 5, 1, negative 2, respectively. Find the image of negative 2, 3 under the transformation P followed by Q. Then the B part says the values of the constant M and N such that PQ is equal to 3 times this matrix minus this matrix. So for the A part, we were told that negative 2 was transformed in under P followed by Q. And we got a result x prime y prime so we are looking for the x prime y prime now when we transform these points under p this what to happen we will get p which is one three two three negative two three and we have to multiply this matrix. Recall that we multiply the row by the column. Row by column. So 1 times negative 2 will give us negative 2. 3 times 9 will give us 9. 3 times 3 will give us 9. 2 times negative 2 will be negative 4. 3 times 3 will give us 9. When we simplify this, we will obtain 7, 5. So, we have to again transform this under Q. So, we have the Q, 2, negative 5, 1, negative 2. Again, we have two matrices, 2 by 2 matrix, multiplying 2 by 1 matrix. We are going to get 2 by 1 result as we had here. So 7 again row by column. So 2 times 14. 2 times 7 will be 14. The negative 5 times 5 will be 25. So plus minus 25 that will be minus 25. Then 1 times 7 is 7. Then we have negative 2 times 5 minus. So in, ad, in actual fact, we are adding negative 25 and we are adding um, negative 10. And we know negative and positive meet the negative overshadow the negative uh, the positive. So this will be 14 minus 25 will give us negative 11. And this will be negative 3. What do we do next? So it means that when we transform this point negative 2, 3 under the transformation P followed by Q, the result is negative 11, negative 3. So you write it back as a point. So this will give us the this is this is the image of this. Now let's look at the B part of the question. We want to find the values of the constant M and N such that matrix P times Q. So this is matrix P, which is 1, 3, 2, then 3 times Q, which is 2, negative 5, 1, negative 2. Is equal to 3 so we multiply this by this we get 3m 
plus 9. Multiply this. This is a scalar. Multiply the matrix. Negative 12. 3 times 1, we give you 3. 3 times 2, we give us 6. Minus. So we have n, negative 1, negative 4, 9m, minus 5. So we have to multiply the matrix here. Remember, row by column. So this row, we take this column. After that, it, take, it will take the second column, which is this one. So let's go. Row by column, 1 times 3, 1 times 2 is 2. Then we have 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 5, 1 times negative 5, this is negative. It's negative 5. Then we add it to 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. Row by column, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. Then we have 2 times negative 5, negative 10. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. So this will be equal to, we have subtraction of matrices here so we subtract the corresponding entries corresponding element 3m plus 9 minus n so we have 3m plus 9 minus n negative 12 minus 1 negative 12 minus negative 1 so that will give us negative 11 then we have 3 minus negative 4, that will give us 7. 6 minus 6 minus 9m minus 5. So the next thing we do is to simplify. So we have 5, negative 11, 7, negative 16 being equal to 3m minus n plus 9, negative 11, 7, then 6 minus m plus 5, so 6 plus 5 will be 11, minus 9m. So, equality of matrices will tell us that negative 16 will be equal to 11 minus 9m and 5 will be equal to 3m minus so this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this so let's form this simultaneous equation and solve for m and n so we have 5 or 3m minus n plus 9 B equal to 5 and this will give us 3m minus n will be equal to 5 minus 9 that will be negative 4 this is equation 1 then we also have 11 minus 9m equal 7 in other words we have negative 9m equals 7 minus 11 is negative 7 minus 11 so it's not it's not 7 it's, this is negative 16 negative 16 yeah so that will give us negative 16 minus 11 so negative 9 m will be equal to negative 27 so Dividing through by negative 9, m will be equal to negative 27 over negative 9, which is equal to 3. So we can put 3 here into the equation 1 to get 3 times m, which is 3, minus n is equal to negative 4. So we have 9 minus n equal negative 4. So we have 9 plus 4 equal 
positive n therefore 13 is equal to n hence we have m equal 3 and n equal 13 thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to share this video with your friends so that they can find it see you in the next video